since the exams, really I've forgotten how they went. I'm really not sure if I passed or not. Hello everybody and welcome to my results video. Today I am getting my results for my first ever set of actuarial exams. It's been such a long wait. I sat the exams back in spring in April and it's now July. The results are finally being released. The aim of the game with my actuarial exams is to pass all 13 to qualify as a fellow of the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. I sit these exams alongside all the other student actuary members of the Institute. It normally takes quite a few years to get through these exams and I have only sat my first two subjects so far. It was literally my first sitting earlier this year. The pass mark for these is round about 60% normally. I do get given my percentage mark as well, but that doesn't really matter. All that matters is whether I passed or failed. If I pass, well, hey, on to the next ones. If I fail, then I need to retake whatever I failed in the coming sitting or another sitting in the future. For anyone who wasn't around, I sat two subjects in the April sitting, CS1, which is actuarial statistics, and CB1, which is business finance. I'm probably more confident about passing the statistics paper than the business paper, just because I had done some statistics while at university, whereas all of the business finance stuff was completely new to me. However, I am pretty relaxed on this day, despite getting results, just because I know I can retake if necessary. I know I put in a good effort. I was studying during a pandemic again, so let's make allowances for ourselves. If I pass, great, I get a pay rise, all is fun. If I fail, then so what? The other thing to mention is that pass rates for these exams are pretty low. A good amount of people will fail this exam, so there's no shame in failing. Anyway, I've rambled enough. Let's find out my results because I'm sure that's what you're all waiting for. I don't actually know what time they're being released so they might not have been released yet but it is the afternoon now so you'd think they'd be available by now. I'm actually on holiday, I'm in the Cotswolds staying on a farm with my family, it's great, it's a little countryside getaway but I thought I'd just pause and see my results, hopefully this doesn't ruin my holiday. To be fair I won't be that gutted if I fail, I'd be a little bit gutted, I'd be a bit disappointed in myself I think. I always have high expectations for myself, so of course I want to pass with flying colours, but we'll see. My exams, that sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, really? Seriously? It says result pending. That was a bit anticlimactic, wasn't it? I wonder if they're ever slow coming out with these. No exam result letter found. That's really annoying. Okay, well, I built that up way too much, didn't I? They're not out yet, but <laughs> I will update you when they are out, and I'll let you know how I got on. It's just a waiting game, isn't it? I just want to know how I did. Take two. It is now, what time? Almost 7pm. Surely my results are out by now. I'm going to have a look. going to go into exam history. Oh. <gasps> I passed. Both of them. I passed both of them. What a relief! What a relief! Where do I see my results? I want to see my percentage mark. I thought I'd get that. Maybe it's in results letters. Exam result letters. Oh, here we go. I've got my exam result letter, which I'm now downloading. Ha! Oh, I did pretty good! In the actuarial statistics, CS1, I got 81%. And in business finance, CB1, I got 72%. Oh my gosh, I smashed both of those. Like the pass mark is 60. So that was a strong pass in both of them. So I'm really, really happy with that. Ma, yeah. I passed both of them. Did you pass them? Yeah. Fantastic. And I got, I got 81% in CS1 and 72% in CB1. Well done. And I needed around 60% for pass. Yeah, you smashed them. I know. You smashed them. Like 72 percent I don't really know what else to say really, other than that I'm really, really pleased with that. It's a strong start to the road to becoming an actuary, you know? That is two exams down, 11 to go. No retakes necessary. I did work hard for them, so I feel like the results reflect the work that I put in for these exams. This means I get a pay rise. That is exciting. And at least I know what to expect for the next sitting, because the next sitting is September, because yes, they rolled around quickly. I need to book my exam for my next sitting 
this month in a few weeks time. I'm sitting CM1 next sitting by the way which is actuarial mathematics. I won't lie I have not done a lot of work for it so far. I've obviously been enjoying my summer, making the most of COVID restrictions easing, seeing friends, going on holiday like I am right now and not studying that much. I have been doing tutorials and they've been going fine but I need to really knuckle down and get going on question practice. So soon I will get studying for that but for now I'm gonna go celebrate passing my first two actuarial exams. Give the video a like and subscribe to my channel to follow more of my journey as a student actuary. I might even share my exam papers at some point and show you guys the stuff that I was doing in these exams. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. To anyone else receiving exam results at the moment, I hope they are what you wanted and if not, just keep at it. Follow me over on my Instagram as well because I've been so active over there recently, the most active I've ever been on Instagram. So for lots more content, go follow on my instagram i'll leave a link in the description and thanks for watching guys see you soon with another video bye bye